Well, 642. Welcome back. It's a big week on KX News. The KX Storm Team is preparing you for severe weather, uh, severe summer weather with Severe Weather Awareness Week. Yeah, and the best way to stay safe is to be prepared. So all week long, we will be bringing you the facts and information that you need to know to stay safe during the severe, severe weather events and to show you how to prepare for the worst. That includes tornadoes. And of course, we see the destruction in the aftermath of a tornado. But how is the strength of a tornado actually determined? Well, Amber is here to explain. Amber? Well, the enhanced Fujita scale is used to rate the intensity of a tornado. The National Weather Service surveys the damage and will rate the tornado after it's over. They'll inspect the type of structure that was damaged and how it was constructed and estimate how strong the winds were. Now, the lowest rating uh, on the scale is an EF0 with wind speeds of 65 to 85 miles per hour. Some minor damage can be expected. The next rating is an EF1 with wind speeds ranging from 86 to 110 miles per hour. Mobile homes can be overturned with severe damage done to the roof of your home. Most of our tornadoes here in North Dakota are EF zeros and EF ones. Now we're getting into the category of very strong tornadoes EF two winds of 111 to 135. Roofs can be torn off of well constructed homes and mobile homes can be completely destroyed. EF three tornadoes have winds of 135 136 rather to 165. Entire stories of well constructed Constructed homes can be leveled, heavy cars can be thrown and lifted and thrown very far. Devastating damage comes from EF4s with wind speeds of 166 to 200. Well constructed homes at this point can be completely leveled and incredible damage comes from EF5 tornadoes with winds in excess of 200 miles per hour. It's tough to survive a monster of a tornado like this. It's also very important to know that you cannot rate a tornado by just looking at it. It has to be rated by the damage it's done. So if you have a half mile wide tornado and it does no damage, it is in fact considered an EF0. Okay, thank you, Amber. Well, on July